All right, I think this will be my last Flickr video. I want to add a, a search box to this app so that the user can put in whatever they want to search for. They don't have to hard code it. Right now, you can see in the API call that we actually hard code the word dog. That's why we have dog. Dog, dog. We want to rather have the user enter some information replace that so let's 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 actually add something new to state and we'll call it a dog dog and then let's change it here oh the, you'll notice one thing between the last video and now uh, this used to all this code used to be in component did mount but I moved into its own um, well this is a class property um, and that and you'll see why I did that in just a second. Um, dog. So now we have to replace that with this dot state dot text input. So if I s oops, I got my plus and whatever backwards. So if I save this, it should still work the same. It should find dogs because now instead I'm just uh, getting the value from state and putting it in there. So let's add, have a input box and that way we can put our own input in. And the way we do that is we put in an input element and give it a class name of uh, I think I I think that's the name of what I put in the CSS. And that just makes a border around it so we can see it. Um, so now we should see, when I hit save, we should see a box. There's a box. We can type in it, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't do anything. We need to capture when the, when the, um, there's a change. And we can do that. I actually already created a handler for it. It handles change. So what I do is I say, on change equals this dot handle change. Now what that does is it calls when it, there's a change here. Every time it changes, every time I type a letter, it's going to call this and set the state. Um, I pass in an element and it finds the value of it. It still really shouldn't do anything though. Let's find out. We'll save it. And then I'll type. But see, nothing happens, of course, because we haven't called the we haven't called um, the reload image. But do we really want to reload the image every time somebody types? I mean, if I want to type cat, right, and I type C, and then it reloads all the images for everything that has a tag of C. We don't really want to do that. We want to we want to wait till the person's done typing. And there's a strategy for doing that. It's called debouncing. And you can look that up, but I've already created a function that implements this debouncing idea. And I'll show you how it works. I'll give you an overview. It's kind of crazy how it works. But what we want to do is on the key up, we want to pass delay a function. Okay, and that function is going to be this dot reload the image. And that's the end of my function. So we're going to call this delay with this function and I'm going to bind it and another parameter the number of milliseconds so one second okay I have all sorts of extra all sorts of extra brackets and braces here so let's see if this one goes with that 
Yeah, so that's all I should need. So I'm calling delay with two things, this function that rows the images and this time of 1,000 milliseconds. So we look here. The first thing it does when I call delay is it clears the current timer, the current um, one second thing running. And then it resets it so that in a thousand seconds, a thousand seconds, in one second, uh, it'll launch whatever, call whatever function you want to call, which of course was the reload images. But as long as I keep typing, as long as I keep typing, as long as the key keeps going up, it's going to keep calling delay and it's going to keep resetting the timer so that reload images never happens. Does it make sense? Yeah, it's a little bit tough, but I think it works. So let me hit save. And now let me type cat. And if I wait a second, I should get a cat. And if I type elephant, hopefully I don't get anything questionable. See, I didn't have to hit enter or return or anything. I just waited a second. And then I got an elephant. So that's really it. Um, pretty straightforward and easy to add that functionality. Now this um, debouncing thing's kind of odd, for sure. But uh, it's a common technique. So Google it and check it out. And that's all I got to say about that.